there! Thanks for joining me for another technique video. This month's technique is a watercolor resist done with twinkling H2O's. I originally learned how to do this technique from the August 2006 Technique Junkie newsletter and it was submitted by, Stan by Sandy Strickland. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a piece of um, white cardstock and this is actually Utopia Appleton Papers matte coated cover white cardstock which I get from Marco's Paper Online. And this um, piece right here is base is cut, um, let's see, five by four and three quarters. And I will have the dimensions all typed out for you guys at the end. So anyways, I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to go ahead and use a Clyde Color Pad. This one is the Berry Blaze and my brayer. And go ahead and ink it up. Let me get all this so you guys can see it. Just go ahead and ink it up real good. And then you're going to start at the left of the cardstock and just go ahead and go in one direction and just brayer it on. Just keep lifting it and rolling it and then go back and ink, get more ink. Just like that, just till you get good coverage. And then go ahead and go back with some more ink and take it all the way over to where the purple is and start there to finish coloring it. So you're basically going to have a big stripe of purple in the middle and then you're going to have pink on either side. Let's just do it one more time. Just like that. I'm going to go back and just cover up that purple just a little bit. And that should be pretty good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to take my stamp. And this is the flower stamp from the new paper tray, Friends to the End set. And I'm going to take some Versamark ink and go ahead and load it up. And I want to stamp the flower right in the middle. Just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder so that I can see where it is. Just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some more flowers. Go ahead right here. And then another one about right there. And then do the same thing on the other side there, and another one there, and then maybe one down here, and one up at the top, just like that. Now I'm going to go back and get some more embossing powder all over those. emboss it with my heat gun until it turns clear. I'm going to take my Twinkling H2O's and I am using, I'm going to start out with a color called Majestic Blue. I went ahead and I already put some water in it to soften it up. I'm using an aqua painter and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to start on the pink side and just paint over the embossed image. And as you can see, it goes ahead and it turns the clear embossed flowers pink and it changes the color underneath to a different color as well. Isn't that cool? Let me go ahead and come forward a little bit more. Oops, come forward so you can see it a little bit better. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put it, squeeze in a little bit more water to make it a little bit more liquid. Just like that. Now you can use any color collider pad you want to use or any twinkling H2O's. Just make sure that when you use the twinkling H2O's over the collider pad colors, you want to use different colors than what the ink color is. So basically you're just doing some color mixing and the colors are going to change. And then I want to go in to the purple with a yellow rose, Twinkling H2O. And this one might get a little muddy just because we're going with a light over a dark. But I'm going to go ahead and go back in and add just a little bit more blue so I get more of a, a green, more like a turquoise green kind of kind of color. And just keep working with it. You can add more, more paint and play with it until you get a good color combo that you like. And make sure that, you know, you try and get the lines blended in so it doesn't look quite so much like stripes. So anyways, there we go. Now just to save time, I am already got one done. And here we have one that's already finished. And I want to go back in with the stamp, the flower stamp again. And this time I'm going to use uh, Versafine, black Versafine. And just go ahead and ink it up. And then what I want to do is I just want to kind of over stamp the flower just like that and just do that in a couple of different places and maybe we'll do one more over here you guys see that just like that and that's all there is to it so let's go back to the finished card which is right here and I basically um, to finish it off I just took um, a piece of pixie pink um, cardstock and I went ahead and I did the friend um, saying that comes in that same set I stamped it with Versamark ink and then I went ahead and I stamped it again with Stampin' Up Lovely Lilac put some more clear embossing powder over it and embossed it I did a black mat behind the main image at five and an eighth by four and seven eighths and finished it up with another piece of pixie pink four and a quarter by five and a half. And that's it. And it's a really fun technique, so I hope you give it a try. Um, one more thing, the unfortunately I found out that the Twinkling HTOs have or actually the company is going out of business. So hopefully you still have some and if not, hopefully you can get some. If not, um, you could always use any other kind of um, sparkly watercolor as well, or you could even try, you know, um, um, let me see, a tube watercolor and just mix in some, like, um, some kind of sparkly powder, um, Pearl X or Perfect Pearl, something like that. So anyways, here you have it. I hope you enjoyed the technique. Um, I, once again, I'll put a supply list um, in the video. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's technique, and I hope you'll come back again next month for another one. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great night.